Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. It is Tuesday morning and we do have a video for you who clicked on this video today uh, talking about a couple new things. So guys, today, um, game changers and people that EA uh, like, and I'm not saying that with any sort of uh, negativity or um, I guess negative connotation, got the game. People are streaming it full time. So just like you guys, man, I told you guys, bro, we've been doing this for a couple years now. I'm still the same as you. I will be buying the EA Access just like you guys. I will be doing the whole thing of waiting for the web app to come out tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon. And yeah, that's where we're at. So to you guys that click on the YouTube videos, watch the streams, I'm really sorry, man. I don't have FIFA 21 early. There's nothing I can do. I was not selected by EA. Um, I guess I don't have a good relationship with EA. But uh, yeah, again, that's what happens when you're Konami's golden boy. All right, so what we're going to be doing today, guys, is obviously the people that did get FIFA 21 uh, have now made it possible for us to see some really interesting things on FIFA 21. First of all, watch the whole video. I say that every video, watch it, okay? But look, Footpin doesn't have, uh, I believe, all the upgraded things. I could double check, but I don't think Footpin has all the upgraded uh, weak foot skills. So we got weak foot and skill moves for icons. I haven't seen any of them. So we're going to be using a mix of Footwiz and Footpin today uh, to go and check out what we've got going on, what's the situation with the new icons um, and all that stuff. So I'm going to go to FIFA 21 popular players. Here we go. So Puskas is four-star skills and three-star weak foot. Now, I thought Puskas was going to be one of the most meta players in FIFA 21, and I still think he could be really good, but he won't be a top-tier meta because of the three-star weak foot. Um, so yeah, three-star weak foot for Puskas. Obviously still has a pretty nuts card. You know, when we take a look at this card, it's still a really good card. Um, 94 finishing, but it reminds me a little bit more of a kind of like a Stoichkov esque type of player. So it's not, it is not a four star weak foot. Um, at least I thought it was gonna be four star, four star. People were speculating that he might even have a five star skills on this card, but again, he does not. Now, Cantona, guys, let's see what Cantona has to offer today. Cantona has a five star skills, and man, I think a lot of these websites are slow right now because people are on the game. So Cantona does have five star skills and a four star weak foot. And that's pretty nice because. Five-star skills is a very unique thing to have. Now, this is almost necessary for this type of player. And the reason I say that is that he doesn't have over 85 agility and balance, and he's six foot two. So when you have a player that's super tall and doesn't have great, great, you know, dribbling, you're going to need something else to compensate for that. And having the skills is a really nice thing that Eric Katona can offer you in FIFA 21. Fernando Torres, let's take a look and check out what he is looking like today. Uh, he does have four star, four star. So four, Fernando Torres is going to be very usable. Uh, that's very good to see. I wasn't expecting any five stars with Torres, but just as long as it was four stars, I was going to be happy. So that's very good to see Fernando Torres in FIFA 21 with four star, four star. I like to see that a lot. That's pretty good. Uh, Eto has four star, four star as well. Um, that's pretty good as well. We were wanting Eto to be a very good player this year, and I think he's going to be just that with the four-star, four-star combination. I think that's really nice to have. Uh, 93 finishing, 95 attack positioning. Then you've got 87 agility, 82 balance. A solid card with 93 reactions. By the way, guys, uh, once I do get my hands on the game and my actual footage, if you guys want me to put up any specific videos, man, just let me know in the comments down below. I think I'm going to put up a video this week talking about the pack animation. Because I know a lot of you guys could probably be wondering about that. And I need to figure it out myself. So we'll probably do a video on that this week. That's like a video that I really want to do this week. Just to kind of see what is going on with the pack animation. Um, other icons, obviously, these are all really important in my opinion. Um, Chavi has three-star weak foot and four-star skills. So it's kind of meh. You know, I was hoping that Chavi got some sort of five-star in there. Because I feel like with Chavi's card, you know, it's it's not a top, top card. So I would have liked to see Chavi get some sort of five-star combination, you know, uh, weaved into this card, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. It's not a horrible card nonetheless I'm not gonna sit here and say Chavi's a bad card. What is Schweinsteiger and Lam? Oh, it says it right here I've been clicking on them the whole time. So Schweinsteiger and Lam are actually both so you know What's actually making me really happy that center mid Lam is a high high work rate player. That's very nice to have I'm very appreciative for that. Thank you EA. High high is very nice to have uh, Schweinsteiger with three star three star as well and also high high work rates So that's pretty nice to have as well uh, both center mid versions being high high is super important. I think it's very good. And three star, three star is not the best, but look, three star, three star is kind of standard for a center mid. It's never the worst to have as a center mid. I feel like three star, three star is uh is somewhat decent. I mean, it's never like it's never gonna be god tier, but it's always gonna be decent. So that's cool. Um, Suker is four star, four star, so he's gonna be usable. Vidic is two star, two star. I mean, what do you expect, right? Like. It's, it's Vidic, like he's a center back. We're not going to need anything crazy there. 
Um, and I think that I, I think that's all the new icons. If I'm not mistaken, guys, I think that is probably all the new icons. And his foot was down right now. Okay, I think foot is down. You guys already know goats at footpin. All right, use footpin by the way, guys. Always use footpin. I'm just using um. I was using the other site for a sec because I wasn't sure about this one. Do they have the new icons on here? Let me go to FIFA 21 and let me go to like popular or latest because they'll, they'll definitely be under there. So Puskas, it's, I think that's all the new icons. I mean, I think we also have uh, Czech. I think Czech is in there as well. Um, if we go to popular players, I'm wondering if there's anything right now that we're learning. So like this is a card that a lot of people are clicking on. This, this, right now what's going on is that Footbin, all these sites are adding players to the database as people play the game because there's new players coming in. N not everybody from the top 1,000, I believe, was released. So, like, we've got a player here in terms of Tod Todibo, 73 pace, 75 defending, 74 physical, a nice Barcelona center back. So that's cool to see. Tomori's card looks unbelievable for Prem starter teams. He's got four-star weak foot with 80 pace, 76 defending, 74 physical. That's a very nice looking card. This is a great left back on Liverpool. I mean, look, what I'm liking here is there's a lot of starter players coming in from people playing the game today that look solid as hell. I wonder if Jonathan David is four-star. Wow, Jonathan David has five-star weak foot, 85 pace, 78 dribbling, 76 shooting. That looks like a sick type of card to use. Kubo's not the fastest, I would say, so I'm not totally interested in that. Brandon Williams is a non-rare left, left back for, for that. Oh, okay, so Lacazette is a season reward card, huh? I didn't even know that. So we got, we apparently we have season rewards coming in today. Um, wow, Sabitzer. Okay, hold on a second. I didn't know any of this. Okay, four star, four star for Lacazette. 80 pace, 84 shooting, 86 dribbling. These are most likely going to be level 30 players. Um, you know, the, this kind of what EA does really on, but that's a good, it's not a bad level 30 player. We talk about Lacazette. EA gave him plus four pace. That's a nice little boost there, man. It's not a bad card. Um, we don't have the end games yet. And then we've got also Sabitzer who has a nice Bundesliga card. This is not a bad option if you're going Bundesliga. Also, has the Leipzig links, right? Offers you that Leipzig uh, linkage, which is nice to have. And then do we have a third season card? We do. It's Bernat. That's not bad either, though, because look, EA saying, hey, we know a lot of you guys might use Neymar. We know a lot of you guys might use some sort of center mid or center back from PSG. Here's a link to that player, right? That's nice to have. This is a decent, decent little boost here. Yes, he's going to be weak, but as a fullback early on, that's a nice card. I'm not sure who I would take out of those three um, early on. I think I'm leaning towards probably Bernard or Lacazette. Just due to the usability of those guys. Now, I'm wondering, I don't think EA has given us a level 15 reward card, which is fine. It's probably going to be some type of loan. But yeah, there's a lot of new stuff in here that I didn't really know that now I'm figuring out. So, Semedo, officially at Wolves. Things you love to see. What else in here do we have? Pepe, uh, 82. Pereira 85, not too much else in here. I mean, popular page is always usually showing things that obviously are popular. So there's not too much else in here. Weston McKennie's got a decent looking card uh, in FIFA 21 for the Juve, but nothing crazy. I mean, we're all, at the end of the day, right now, we're all talking like starter players and stuff. Um, what I want to check out, at least I'm not sure if, if Footpin does a thing uh, where they actually put in. Uh, tomorrow, by the way, guys, we're going to get team of the week. So that's going to be super exciting. I'm very excited for that. Team of the week is going to be tomorrow. I'm not sure if Footpin does a thing where they actually put in like season rewards and stuff. I'm not too sure. Do we have any SBCs yet? Let's see. Let's check out the SBC thing. I don't think we have SBCs yet. If, is Footwiz working or no? Because Footwiz might have the SBCs too. Let's see. FIFA 21. Uh, SBCs maybe? Let's take a look. Uh, no, this is from FIFA 20. So they Footpin does not have FIFA. Footpin does not have anything uh fifa 21 spc related which is okay i was just wondering if there's anything out yet i'm not too sure yet uh if ea had released all that stuff it's always it's always a weird one with ea yeah guys so i mean that's basically the video today i don't really have too much else to say i don't have access to the game so the uploads i don't know what else to upload i mean i'm gonna be waiting for the web app to come out um so yeah but yeah i'm super excited to get started with you guys man i'll be streaming today and tonight i'm gonna be doing probably you guys know my links are all in the description below i think the streaming schedule we're gonna just kind of do a bunch of like double streams is the plan for fifa 21 so yeah i mean i think that's all about i'm really excited though with lam man i gotta be honest with you guys really excited with lam i know he's only three star three star but you guys know i'm trying to get lam on my team and for him to be high high is so sick i mean i'm stoked about that i'm also congested this morning but i'm stoked about that man i'm really excited that lam is Three, uh, not three star, three star, but high, high work rates. Same thing goes with Schweinsteiger. Uh, all right, this is a card that I'm really trying to get in FIFA 21. And his in games look really nice. Dribbling looks really good. He almost looks like a more agile Lothar Mateus, which looks sick. 
So I'm very excited for this car. The passing is great. Everything is really good on this car. We're going to have to give him something to boost the strength. But nonetheless, a very nice looking car. Guys, thanks for clicking on my video today. I love you guys. See you guys soon. Peace out.